keeps your heart healthy. It makes you fitter, it makes you stronger. If I do a little bit of exercises, my brains are functioning. All of that is true, but one of the really important things that exercise does is change the way your body deals with sugar. Anytime you eat carbs, your body breaks them down into a sugar called glucose, which is transported in your blood to all the cells in your body. Now, there is something of a paradox because glucose is an essential fuel for your body, but it's also quite toxic. If you have persistently high levels, then that increases your risk of heart disease, impotence, and also going blind. So your body produces a hormone called insulin, whose job is to get your blood glucose levels down to normal as quickly as possible. But how efficiently your body does that is affected by how physically active you are, which I hope to demonstrate with the help of some more volunteers with contrasting lifestyles. Some farmen and some cabbies. Do you guys spend a lot of time sitting down? Percentage-wise, 90% of my day. Mm. Okay. Uh, you can't leave the car and be working. You've got to be sitting in the car to be working. That's the nature of the job. Mm. Do you um, deliberately set out to do exercise during the rest of your time? Not a great exerciser. Take the dog for a walk now and again. OK. Mm. Yeah. And you two guys, a bit different. Is that right? Yeah. Probably at least 50% of my day is walking around and uh, you know, not, not sat at my desk as such. I wouldn't mind walking around or, you know, doing drill on the yards. So that's running out hose, that kind of thing. I'm going to show you how physical lifestyle can affect blood sugar levels with the help of a blood glucose monitor and a lot of needles. <laughs> yes, there he goes. And a very sugary drink to simulate a carb-loaded meal. Not that back. The question is, who will get their blood glucose levels down fastest? The active farmer or the less active cabbies? I was just testing the sugar content myself. Come down now, I can tell. Time to get the real answer. The blood glucose levels that went up the least were Elliot's. The right. blood glucose levels which went up and went down the fastest was Richard. And for you two, I'm afraid, there was a decline, but it was more gradual. Active people, like our firemen, tend to bring their blood glucose levels down more efficiently after eating, getting them quickly back to healthy levels. If you are not getting enough exercise, it is harder for your body to get the levels back under control. That can lead to type 2 diabetes, and as the glucose starts to damage the linings of your blood vessels, heart disease.